what's going on guys in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your audi concert into a usable radio as many of us know um this radio right here is really useless <laughs> unless you want to listen to the radio or you want to get some freaking tapes or cds okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is um i have these i have two of these little uh radio tools you can just get them off of ebay for about a buck so what you do is um you actually take this and you bend it a little up so it has a little curb like this and then you pretty much uh you see this little hole right here you just slide them in like this and you hear it click okay so now you take the other one and um, i already have it bent there's another hole right around here okay you press it press it in you hear it click okay so you're gonna do this pretty much put pull towards the outside to the opposite way and then this side you're gonna pull that way with your hand and then but at the same time you gotta push towards you you know what i'm saying so then you're gonna pop out the radio and uh just make sure you have some kind of a uh, rag or something to cover your shifter or your um yeah your lever for your automatic transmission and then you're just gonna pull out the radio like this all right so once you pull out your radio um this is how it's gonna look like so the first thing that we're gonna do or you're gonna do when you um take out your radio is unplug the red one okay this one right that one's off okay the easiest way to unplug these little wires they have a little tab right here see that you just push it in and then you pull out it might be a little harder for you guys just because your radios have been sitting there for a really long time and then we're also gonna unplug this little colored one okay it also has a little tab all right there it's off and uh there's a third connection down in here but that one uh just uh, don't unplug it no matter what because if you guys unplug it then uh your radio it's uh not gonna be functional and this is the little baby here that we're gonna install well i actually unplugged mine <laughs> for you guys to see how i did it so when you guys get this um it won't be plugged in like this or be set up like this already so the only the only thing that you guys gotta do is plug in the wire harness to the dungeon box this little blue box right here and then grab two zip tides they're they're um they don't include them with the kit unfortunately but just go to home depot or something and just get like a pack of 10 for a buck as you can see there's only two connections and then the only thing that we're going to use is the uh, the ground wire to plug it in anywhere you want oh and then there's also this uh mute thing it comes okay because it comes with a mic it comes with this this little mic right here too so, so but i just haven't had a chance to install it yet so you guys just don't get confused um okay so this um big one that's like that has a lot of space to it it's gonna go and plug in to this uh multicolored one okay so let me see if i can hear it right there. There. you hear it click perfect now the only one that we need to plug in the last one actually is going to be this one in to the to the top one right up right, right up here this one if you guys have the bows it's not usable okay so we're gonna plug this one from the wire from the new um dungeon harness in here okay so let's just do this right now all right so now you just plug that in now it's plugged in okay this is gonna be the ground for this unit so um what i did um the people that i bought it from um they sell like these little the, what do they call them posi tabs that's what this little blue thing is okay so it's connected to this thick brown wire and that that's gonna be the ground okay so now we're just gonna 
stick that in and then screw it in. All right, so now let's give it a nice little tuck. Nothing, it's not going anywhere. Um, This whole setup is ready, it's ready to go. Okay. So now we're gonna test this out, okay? So you guys are gonna go to mode on your radio and now it's hitting tape. And then now it's gonna say CD5TR99. You say it on your display as well. Okay. So now, um, you guys see that it already connected uh, to the Bluetooth by itself on my phone. You guys are gonna go to settings, and then if you guys haven't enabled your Bluetooth, you just enable it. Okay. And then the the unit is called GW Light. Um. 83717 and then you're just gonna connect obviously so now you just pretty much you're, you're ready to go here i'll test this out for you guys what do you guys like to listen to <laughs> let me just turn on the volume all right so it works Okay, so lastly, the last thing that we're gonna do is um, just pretty much tuck everything in nice and neatly. All right, guys, now we are done. This, you, know, you just make sure that it clicks. There we go, now it's in. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so that concludes our video. Um, this install is literally, it's gonna take you maybe an hour two hours tops um but um if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a like comment this video i do look at the comments um share this video and lastly please subscribe um you know i'll be making more videos you guys just tell me what you, you guys want to do my next video that i want to do is um actually showing the showing you guys how to drive a manual transmission car all right yeah so because manual rules <laughs> um yeah and then i also got to do the installation video for the for the spoiler that i bought if you guys haven't seen that then uh go watch it all right so you guys take care now later